Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. In today's video, I will be sharing a lot of school lunchbox recipes for mains and snacks that will make perfect food pyramid for kids including proper amounts of grains, dairy, protein, fruits and veggies. Each lunchbox may not be perfectly balanced but overall weekly food is rich in all nutrients. If you're new or not aware that I have started sharing kids school lunchbox short videos Mondays to Fridays on my channel then I will link the playlist in the description box below and in the cards above in case you missed to watch go and check them out There is a lot to be covered today as I will be sharing full recipes so without any further delay let's get started with the video First I will share many recipes of meals that will make the main portion of the lunchbox Later in the video I will be sharing interesting snack ideas that will interest your kids to look forward to their lunchbox every day. If you want to see part 2 of this video please hit like. I will make part 2 as soon as I reach 5k likes. So do your bit guys and like and share this video. So let me begin with recipe number 1. cheese twisties these twisties are super easy to make you may add vegetables if you like but trust me kids will love it just with cheese so take one puff pastry sheet i'm using frozen variety here put some grated cheddar cheese on it and cover it with another sheet seal the edges and cut into four stripes now white wash with some milk with little turmeric powder in it so that you get that nice golden color once it's baked Now twist the sheets from both ends folding in opposite direction. Finally sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and bake at 160 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and cheese twisties are ready. The day I added cheese twisties to my daughter's lunchbox she actually asked me why did you add only two and not more. So trust me your kids are going to love it. Next is feta cheese pasta. This recipe is super easy and yummy and it literally takes 5 minutes to cook in the mornings if you have boiled the pasta the night before. I added some garlic and rosemary olive oil to a pan. You can use non-flavored olive oil and add some fresh garlic and rosemary to it too. Saute them for a minute or so, then add boiled pasta of your choice. Next add some feta cheese, crush some salt and black pepper and mix well. And feta cheese pasta is ready. Feta cheese is sour and it blends so well with garlic and rosemary that you have to give this one a try. Next recipe is veggie burger for which I have peeled and cubed some potatoes. Added small pieces of carrots and green peas to it and boil them using very little water. Next I will add some poha and mash the potato mixture. Lastly add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and some garam masala and salt and make tikkis and shallow fry them. To assemble the burger roast the burger bread with butter, add cheese slices, top it up with veggie patty, green chutney and ketchup and veggies of your choice. I like to add tomatoes, onions and capsicum and top with another piece of bread and voila, burger is ready. The only problem giving burger in school lunch is that it will be little uncomfortable for kids to eat. So a trick that I have learned is glad wrap it and then cut the burger from the middle so that they can hold it firmly while they are eating. Next is very easy but very exciting option for kids and that's french fries. You can use just potatoes or sweet potatoes to make french fries. It becomes even better if you have air fryer at home as you do not have to deep fry them and they still turn out nice and golden and crispy. Sprinkle some black salt, black pepper and little chaat masala to take the french fries to another level. Next option is using leftover rotis. We always have leftover rotis at home and it is a very good lunch box option. This is how I make dry masala roti. I add mustard seeds, asafoetida and chopped garlic to hot oil and roast it for a little while. Next add roti cut into small pieces, roast it for few minutes and then add masalas, just basic masalas like cumin, coriander, turmeric powder, red chili powder. Roast the masalas and then add one grated tomatoes try not to chop the tomatoes but to grate or puree them then once tomatoes are nice and roasted and covers 
all the roti pieces it's ready it may take 5 to 7 minutes and then lastly garnish with some coriander and your yummy leftover roti lunch option is ready now let's look at amazing paneer pulao recipe add oil and butter to a pan then add some khara garam masala like cumin seeds cloves cinnamon and a piece of cardamom roast lightly then add half chopped onion and one potato cut into cubes now you can add as many vegetables of your choice i'm adding green beans and green peas to start with saute them and while vegetables are roasting i will roast some paneer pieces on the side too once paneer pieces are roasted i will marinate them with salt red chili powder turmeric powder and half lemon juice now veggies are soft so i will add salt and garam masala and also add capsicum and carrots i'm adding these vegetables in the end so that they still remain crunchy and does not turn mushy lastly add pre cooked rice and the marinated paneer and yummy paneer pulao is ready This paneer pulao is so flavorful and not too heavy on spices and I bet your kids will enjoy eating it. Next look at potato sandwich. If you have pre-boiled potatoes the night before, this potato sandwich will literally take 5 minutes to make. All I have done here is added salt and red chili powder to boiled and mashed potatoes and tempered it with mustard seeds. Add this to sandwich bread and roast. Make a simple sandwich more appealing for kids by cutting it into interesting shapes. Next recipe is sabudana khichdi. Who doesn't love sabudana or tapioca khichdi? My kids certainly do, especially because it has a perfect balance of all flavors. So to make sabudana khichdi, add zeera, hing, green chili and curry leaves to medium to hot oil. Saute then add peanuts. Roast the peanuts then add finely chopped potatoes and let this simmer till potatoes are soft. I added black salt and turmeric powder to potatoes as it help it cook faster. Lastly add overnight soaked tapioca, black salt to taste and mix well. Finishing it off by adding half lemon juice and garnish with fresh coriander. And I'm sure your kids will love this. Next look at leftover rice recipe. If I have leftover rice then tomato rice is my go to option. To make tomato rice I add tomato and curry leaves to oil and let tomatoes cook thoroughly till the oil separates. I like to add green garlic or lily lesson as it enhances the taste. For spices just the basic spices like salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder, chaat masala. Once oil separates add leftover rice and mix well and tomato rice is ready easy peasy next recipe is red sauce pasta which i think is every child's favorite so let's look at how i make red sauce pasta you can choose to add as many veggies in it or choose to completely omit the veggies and add fresh ones on the side either way this pasta tastes delicious and it is a real treat for kids at school the process is very simple add olive oil garlic and onions and caramelize the onions add capsicum and immediately add one can tomatoes italian herb mix salt and pepper cook till oil separates Lastly add penne pasta and red sauce pasta is ready. You may consider to cut the pasta into bite sized pieces before adding it to the sauce so that it's easy for kids to eat without making too much mess. Last but not the least, let's look at potato puffs. To make potato puffs add cumin seeds, ginger garlic paste, half chopped onion, some pieces of paneer, spices like garam masala, turmeric powder, chaat masala and salt to taste. Lastly add green peas and mashed potatoes and the filling is ready. I always keep frozen pastry sheets in the deep freezer. Cut a sheet into four equal parts, fill 1 tablespoon potato filling, whitewash it with milk and bake at 160 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and homemade fresh crispy potato puffs are ready in no time. 
Now let's look at some snacks that you can make for kids lunch box. Snacks always keep the excitement level of opening the lunch and finding out what's inside. So I do suggest having one or two in your kids lunch box daily. The first one is sweet corn chaat. To make sweet corn chaat, add some butter to oil and then add sweet corn kernels. No need to pre-boil if it's American style. Add black salt, chaat masala, red chili powder and mix. Lastly, squeeze some lemon juice and sweet corn chaat is ready. Its tangy taste is what makes it kids favorite. Next is mint makhanas. Roast makhanas with 1 to 2 tablespoon ghee on low flame. Makhanas are very rich in nutrition and roasting in ghee adds the healthy fat to it. Too. While makhanas are roasting, let's make mint coriander spice. I take leaves of mint and coriander, only leaves, not the stems, put it on a kitchen paper towel and microwave it until the leaves have dried. You will have to microwave 30 seconds at a time, otherwise the leaves would burn. So take care. Next, rub it in between your palm and crush them to make a coarse powder. Add this to the roasted makhanas along with some black salt and chaat masala and mix well and mint makhanas are ready. If you have boiled black chanas, then simply roast them using 1 tablespoon oil and jeera. Add basic spices like cumin, coriander, turmeric, red chilli powder, black salt and chaat masala and roasted black chanas are ready. Don't forget to squeeze lemon and garnish with some fresh coriander. And black chana chaat is amazing. Next is Tur Dal Laddus or Puran Laddus. If you are Gujarati, you know what I'm talking about. Both my kids love Puran Laddus and every time I make Puran Poli, I have to make these. So basically, I soak Tur Dal and boil it with very little water so that it's just soft but not at all watery. Next, I mash the dal and add jaggery to it and cook it till it becomes semi-solid. The mixture should not be runny at all. Next, I grease a plate and add the mixture to it and knead the dough for few minutes and then make laddus. You can easily store this into the refrigerator for around a week and then add them to your kids lunchbox. Soak almonds are another great option if your school is not a nut-free center. If you want, I can share almond laddus or almond shira recipe in future videos. Please make sure to like this video and help me achieve 5k likes as I have bundle of more recipes to share. Another one is coconut laddu. Coconut laddu is instant laddu wherein I mix desiccated coconut with some condensed milk and cardamom powder, roll them into small laddus and that's it. They are so quick but they are so heartwarming to eat. Next recipe is homemade cashew cookies that a lot of you guys requested me to post after seeing my lunchbox short videos. So let me share that with you. The easiest way to remember the ratios for cookies are 1 cup crushed cashews, 1 cup wheat flour, half cup unsalted butter and half cup brown sugar. First mix the butter and sugar till the butter and sugar melts and it's fluffy. You might need to microwave it for 30 seconds or so. Next add cashews and flour and make the cookie dough. Keep the dough aside for 15 minutes before rolling it and cutting cookies out of it. Bake them at 160 degrees for 15 minutes and cookies are ready. It's so easy. You can store them in a jar and they will last good for 2 to 3 weeks. Another puff pastry recipe is making sweet puffs. Let's first make the filling using cream cheese and condensed milk. Add these to the puff pastry, cut into different shapes and sizes and top it up with any fruit of your choice. Strawberries and blueberries go amazing. Bake them at 160 degrees for 15 minutes and I bet your kids will love this treat in their lunchbox and would ask you for more and more of them. Another healthy option would be to add moong sprouts, masala moong sprouts to your kids lunchbox. So let's see how to make them. So take a pan, heat the oil, add some cumin seeds and then add moong sprouts and roast them for a minute or two before adding all the basic spices. Lastly add water and simmer for 10 minutes till the sprouts are soft. Finish with some lemon juice and garnish with coriander and masala moong sprouts are ready. Another great protein source would be steamed edamame beans. Sprinkle some sea salt on them and they make very good appetizer at school recess. 
So guys, this is all I have to share today. The only giveaway I would have from this video is to make food appealing and interesting for kids to pick it up and put it in their mouth. So cut food into cute shapes, add cheese, olives or any form of garnish that your kids enjoy eating. Also add homemade sweets from time to time to keep the excitement level high. Lastly, do some preps the night before so that packing lunch in the mornings are not difficult task. Having a good balance of all flavors and food types would be perfect to develop good eating habits in your kids. I hope you found all the ideas helpful and will definitely consider giving this video a like and share with at least one mommy friend. Just a simple gesture will help me grow my channel and bring more of such content for you mommies. I will sign up on this note and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.